Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Obviously, not at home, but it's okay. Uh, I'm going to continue uh, staying active because I love what I do and I have my orders, okay, as some people think. Nevertheless, uh, what's going on over here? The Russians hit the West where it hurts the most, which is the banks. Remember, the West uh, dared to freeze Russian assets in their countries. Some of these countries, you know, not Romania or whatever, it was an order. And they froze the assets, about 300 or 400 billion dollars worth of assets the Russians have in the West, in United States of America and so on. And they say, well, we're going we're gonna to freeze them, then we're going to seize them. And after we seize them, we're going to use them, your assets. We're not involved, but we're going to use your assets because, you know, we like uh, free market, we like uh, freedom, democracy, exchange of goods and all that. We are all this mantra. It's a lie. When we lose, we change the rules that, so we can win for that particular moment. Okay, because if the other side tries to use the same rule I used to win, I cut the line, cut the corner. No, no, you can't do it. That's a rule, rules based uh, world order that we break whenever we feel like. Well, thank you very much. We don't like that. The rest of the world tell this uh, Pax Americana garbage. So what's going on over here? The Russians smack them back. They freeze, they freeze assets of American bank, one particular American bank, because they know who's behind all this. The banks. This meaning <coughs> uh, spreading democracy and freedom in Ukraine and helping Ukraine defend itself and ourselves as well, uh, you know, they defend us, the banks, right? So the Russians froze JP Morgan's uh, assets. Let's see, we have this, so that's a big strike because if you have to hit where it really hurts. You have to, you know, if you have, uh, as I always give this example, if the uh, uh, pipe, uh, hose, whatever is broken in your house and the water pour pours in, you're not going to use squeegees and you're going to use mops and uh, towels to you go to the origin over there and you turn off the, the water coming in your house and then you solve the pipe or whatever that is and then you turn it back on. So the Russians went exactly to the source. They don't have to go to the Pentagon. They don't have to go to the, to the White House, to the US Congress. They go to the banks because that's where everything starts banks. Somehow the banks became the most important institution on this planet. We all owe the bank and the, we, we can't live without the bank. The bank without us cannot live. So the, how should I put it, the dynamic of power and who is subordinate to whom is very clear. The banks should be our bitches, but we are their bitches. The same, the guys that we elect to be our representatives, they are our employees and they live better than us. It's like you own your own company and you pay your, I don't know, your laborers more than you pay yourself or you paid an engineer or you pay a CEO. Really? Are you so dumb? It's upside down. But anyway, let's, let's get to this article coming from Reuters where we see the Russians smacking these guys to their core. Here it is. Russian court orders seizure of JP Morgan Chase funds in VTB lawsuit. The next one, I would like to see anything that has to do with Goldman Sachs with those guys. I want to see that happening. JP Morgan, yeah, that's, that's a good start. Good and important start. The second one, I want to see that happening because when that happens, that means really that's a war between the group, the group and the European uh, Putin. You don't think so? Well, he kicked them out. <laughs> you figured out what I'm talking about. I, I hope you know exactly what I'm talking about. So here it is, JP Morgan, Chase Manhattan. A Russian court has ordered the seizure of funds in JP, Mor JP Morgan Chase Bank accounts in Russia. Court filing showed on Wednesday in a lawsuit filed by state-owned bank VTB as it seeks to regain funds blocked abroad. So we have ways to fuck you up. You freeze our assets, we're going to freeze yours. And we'll see. And believe me, the bankers don't like losing money. Not a bit. 
Who likes doing that? Well, I like losing money here if I get more here, you know, because at the end of the day, you earned more than you lost. Therefore, you earn plus. So the point here is, who was that? Lavrov? Lavrov, after the European says, we're going to uh, freeze your assets. Let's talk about it. Blah, 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 blah. Borrell said, I don't think it's a good idea. After, I think it was Lavrov who said, we will really hurt you. The guys were like, shit. These guys are consistent in their actions uh, and their uh, blah, blah, blah statements. So maybe we should brrr, hold our horses a little bit. Okay. So I think that's exactly what it is. This is a clear example that the Russians hit and can hit these guys back. Not at the same level. The Russians cannot hit them at the same. They don't, they don't, have, they don't have 300 billion uh, assets from the West in Russia. But they have about, I don't know, about... 30 billion or something like that, or 20 billion, 30 billion from the European Union, Australia, and the Canada, and so on. Smaller, smaller. But believe me, when those guys are gonna be hurt, uh, 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 the pussy that they are, they're gonna tell their little uh, weasels, the politicians and the Pentagon, hey, brrr, hold your horses, buddy. We're losing here. That's not good. Or maybe they say, you know what? In the long run, we're gonna win. How? We're gonna be the ones who are gonna fund this. Um, reconstruction of uh, Ukraine. We're going to be the ones funding, I don't know, the weapons. We're going to be the ones reconstruction the war effort against the evil European Putin. All right. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just. More to come.